stole Frank, the sheriff who stole Bronson's money. What's his name again? McCoy. McCoy. And just to be clear, I'll lead you to Greenvale and point that fella out, and that's it. I have no intention of putting myself in his line of fire. This man is fast. Where do you know him from? Well, I do business everywhere with anyone, and I know every single businessman and every single lawman from Beaufort to the bar. Yeah, and you seem to be a good judge of character. Why do you suck on them? It generates spit, so we don't need to drink as much water. Bullshit. Well, we can discuss it further when you're finished, your water. We got company. State Rangers. Jesus. All right, all right, now I'll, I'll take care of this now. It's one thing killing the sheriff, but you do not fuck around with these fellas, all right? Good morning, gentlemen, for what it's worth in this hell of a place. Where are you headed? Uh, Greenvale. See if we can do a few business deals. Greenvale ain't no place to be doing business deals. Well, maybe we can make it one. I can be pretty persuasive. Best in the country. We're investigating the recent robbery of the Crimson Federal Bank coach. You know anything about it? Why? Why the fuck did you do that? They were leaving! Christ, now we'll have the whole goddamn army down my backs. I see no witnesses. Ugh. I'm a businessman, goddammit! I can't afford this bullshit. You know, it was me that told Bronson about that federal coach, and all I've gotten for it since is agitation and strife. You're not a businessman, Frank. Huh? You're a former jailbird degenerate with clear food-related issues who thinks he's won just because he managed to sell a couple of cans of beans. Well, that's all... You know what I think, Frank? Hmm? I think maybe you tipped off the sheriff as well as Bronson about the federal bank money. What do you say? Oh. Do I just blow your brains out now so we don't have to worry about it anymore? Or do you take us to that sheriff right now? Let's go! I want that money by sundown. 